Hey everyone, welcome again to Padding Course Online. First, what we're gonna do here for the stovepipe for 1945, we're gonna divide the circumference in two. So whatever the circumference give you, we're gonna divide it in two. Using the circumference ruler. I have 27 divided by two is 13 and a, and a half. I open that with my divider and the circumference ruler and I make half a circle. After I make half a circle, I want to divide the, the, divide that quarter off a circle in four parts like I'm doing right now. So we found the center and we just mark our line like we normally do when we're going to make a T or an equal T when you divide the quadrant. So let's keep in mind that a quadrant is a quarter of a circle and we divide that in four parts. So now since we got a quarter of that, we go ahead and, and keep moving the divider around from one end of the circle to the other end. Once we have that mark, we go ahead and square those, those marks. We'll go ahead and square them with a, with a square or or anything that could help you square that this line going up so in total you're gonna have about seven lines I believe or nine lines now from if you just seen right now we just how we're gonna make the 90 we go from the a corner of a circle left or right side to the center of the circle on the top and we just throw a straight line with the ruler and 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 make it and make it land to the uh, line number one now right here for 45 we only need the the radius of the circle we mark we mark the radiant of the circle in line one and then we just we just put the ruler for from line one where we mark the radius of the circle to the other end of the half a circle on your right side and mark a straight line now we're going to open to the, the divider to one of the uh, quarters we got when we divided the quadrant and we're gonna move that like I'm doing right here we're gonna move it about 16 times so we, we will mark I have and a half for left and then we mark going left 16 times and once you mark 16 times so you'll probably have 17 lines, so you can have 16 spaces, right? So we'll go ahead and square those spaces. All those marks that we're doing right now, we're gonna go ahead and square them up. With a square. And let's keep in mind, this is part one of the video. There is a part two coming out. Uh, I had to make a second video from the original video that I make uh, due to having pro it will be this is the only video that I was having problem uploading so i'm making a sec a second version of it so this is part one of stove pipe 45 and then i'll make a part two um let's keep in mind while we're watching how to square this line up here um so the same step we're doing for 45 for a 90 right now of stove pipe 90 we're gonna do the same thing for a 45 stove pipe same steps And now once we get our marks square, what we want to do here is number our lines. So we're going to start from the left to the right. Or in the video, it looks like we're starting from the right to the left. Either way, you're going to start with number 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And then you're going to go from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. So you're going to have 3, 5. In your entire sections I know you can't see it from here I do have a picture at the end of the video of how to number the line properly now on the where we mark our half a circle we're gonna go ahead and and mark those lines up here I'll show you right now. Give it a few a few seconds. So 
So here we're just gonna put a line at uh, about three or four inches of the edge. I try to catch the whole sheet with a video, but you can you can see most of it. Uh, so here we're gonna mark one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So now, since we're making the the ninety, we're just gonna catch the the ninety line. I know we got a forty-five line there. I'm a half a circle, we got a 90 line. So we're gonna get the measurement from the edge of the of the sheet metal on the bottom to the 90 line that goes on a on a 90 on a 45 degree angle to the 90 up there on line one. So we'll get on line one and we up and divide on line one and mark all our number lines one on the bottom. We up and divide on number line two, we mark all our number line two on the bottom. And then we'll go ahead and open up and divide it to line three. And we mark our our line threes on the bottom. We are probably divided to line number four, and we mark our line four on the bottom. And same thing you're gonna do for five, six, seven, eight, nine. So whatever you're marking for four, you mark you you look all for your four lines, uh, number four lines, and mark them. And if you look, if you see how I'm marking it, I'm marking it above the the horizontal line, black horizontal line. I got on my sheet of metal. I'm not marking top and bottom. I'm just marking above it. So you ain't gotta do it like you don't have to do it like you're doing a 90 or a gore. Only mark on the top side. Once you mark all all those um, line, you want to connect them. So let's keep in mind what's a stovepipe. When the pipe is insulated and you don't have no throat, so you got a short radius throat, and you could put a three-part 90 or a stub pipe in this situation, or a butter or a butterfly 90 with no throat. And it, and for this pattern, we're doing the the stub pipe. I'm just wanted to bring that up to. Uh, some people don't know the or we have different names for that type of pattern. So we'll go ahead and connect all the dots. And this is a perfect ruler. You just gotta find the curve of, of where you wanna mark your dots. Um, it is a really good ruler. I could catch, you could catch up to four dots, three dots, five dots. Uh, most of the time I catch about four or three dots. Uh, it's really good ruler, like the way I'm using it right now. Uh, you ain't gotta have nobody hold the ruler for you or you ain't gotta help nobody mark something, you get me? Now since since we have that mark right there, we're gonna go ahead and just cut the metal. And that will be all for uh, this part one of the video. We'll go ahead and uh, give you another day for you guys to have a part two. And let's keep in mind that on line number five, we're gonna mark with a punch. That's where you're gonna give it a beat of crimp, but I'll explain that further when we when I put a part two of the video. So on your pattern, you're gonna, on, on your line five, we're gonna mark with a punch. So here's the picture. Uh, you guys could go ahead and pause the video